And how are we looking at the EGTs? Uh, EGTs, let's check them out. Even a touch lower. I mean, usually timing advance helps lower EGTs, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, red being today, blue being last time. Right. Um, that's 36 pounds, uh, 36 pound feet of torque more. Uh, 30, 30 pound feet, 30 horsepower, give or take. Up top, it's running an extra 30 horsepower at 6,700 RPMs, and it's holding 300 horsepower at 7,000 RPMs. Out of uh, KKK frame turbo. With 25 degrees of timing advance at redline with two degrees of correction, we'll be back with 27, 28 degrees of timing advance. So, I say overall, I can't be more, more happy. So what's next? More timing. That's what we're gonna do right now. Right where it should be? Right where it should be. At 74, we're doing 20.8. That's two whole PSI more. Uh, and then at 7,000, when we were touching 19, we're still at 21. So roughly two PSI more overall, everywhere. So we went from running two very, very big nozzles to running one nozzle as crazy as it sounds and how against people are at running water math nozzles before the intercooler is my hot side pipe. I have one nozzle right here. It's about, I would say, 18 inches away from the turbo outlet. And then I have one nozzle right here, post throttle body. Both of these guys are 100 cc's. And then I have on my dual pass uh, front mount intercooler, um, I have one 225 nozzle running right after the exit. Um, I lied. Not right after the exit, it's 12 inches past the exit, just after the map sensor. I mean, we can definitely see down low it's about the same. In terms yeah, it of looks torque. like a mirror image. But up top, this is where we're expecting to see a difference, and up at, this is 7,000 RPMs, we got eight, and eight, 16 horsepower more, and at 70, let's say, four, we're looking at 19 horsepower, 7,200, we're looking at that's pretty significant. That's almost 25, 30 horsepower right there. But pretty much identical down low, much more power up top. 